Hello again, this here Spirit Animal VSOP come back at you with another rum, all right? Now, when I went into my store and got that Claymont uh, uh, orange liqueur, which is really good, all right? I saw this other one sitting on the shelf, looked interesting, from Puerto Rico, all right? And uh, comes from uh, Ron Hacienda. Is that what it, that's what it says, it says Ron Hacienda. I don't know what that means. But it says, uh, Ron Hacienda, Santa Ana, cask strength, all right? Now, I looked a little farther down on the label, and it's 138 proof. I'm like, oh, boy, I got to try that, all right? Now, I ain't never had any of those overproof rums before, you know? Like that 151 proof. I think that Stroh's is like 160. I ain't never had those before. I've had me some strong barrel strength, cask strength bourbons and rye's before, but uh, this beats all of them all right anyway i'm gonna open this thing up and see if it doesn't uh doesn't scour my mouth <laughs> and uh, i might need a uh i might need a uh uh fire extinguisher i don't know anyway let's see if we can get this thing open here all right and this is another screw top it probably melt the cork if it was in there i don't know let's see let's get this thing off here there we go all right, I'm gonna put my nose up to it and see what it does. Hmm, it didn't do much of anything. Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't seem like 138, but we're gonna find out. Anyway, here's my Eldorado rum glass, all right? Let's take a little bit, pour it in. Glug, 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 and I mean just a little bit. All right, let's take a look at it. It's got a very light color, very light amber color, barely there. All right, let's swirl it around. Let's get it going. All right. Okay, now let's sniff it in the glass. You know, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, assault the nostrils like some of those other cast drinks do. Not at all. You'd be uh, hard pressed smelling it to tell that it's uh, 138 proof, but it do smell nice. It's got a nice light rum aroma to it. Not heavy duty on anything. Mm. A little bit of a little bit of floral and fruit tones coming through. Mm. Can't pick up uh, much of anything else. Mm. All right, now let's taste. All right. Mmm. It's definitely strong. All right. And it uh it burns a little bit going down. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. Because it's so strong, it is easy to pick up the uh the um flavors going on there, but you can definitely pick up the uh, tropical fruits. That's definitely coming through. A little bit of oakiness coming through, I guess, from the barrel. Woodiness, maybe, is a better way to describe it. Hmm. I don't know what they put it in, so um, I don't know if they put it in American oak or what. But there's definitely a woody tone coming through. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. I like that. It's, it doesn't overpower you. Even with the uh, even with the alcohol content, it doesn't overpower you. It's still strong. All right. It's like it makes your mouth feel like if you take Listerine and put it in there and let it sit for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Mmm. It's not too strong going down. It gives you a little bit of hug, which is nice. Mmm. Definitely got that hug going down. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the fruit flavors mainly are what are what's coming through. Um, a little bit of, I don't know, I'm sort of like picking up pineapple and banana and cherry. Mm. Which, uh, you know, they're not all tropical fruits, but they're still fruit flavors. Mm.
Mm. Can't drink a whole lot of this. I'll tell you what. Drinking just a little bit like that is like drinking like drinking two shots of regular whiskey mm, or regular rum. Mm, but that's good. I like that. It's uh, like I said, the flavors aren't overpowering or anything. Um, mainly just the, the fruit flavors coming through. And you really got to you really got to, you know, concentrate to pick those up. But the burn you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hit you right away. It sort of takes its time. It's like, I'm feeling it more now than I did when I first sipped it. So it, uh, it definitely works on you a little bit as it's going down, but it feels good going down. Anyway, I don't know if you can pick this up or not. It was, um, I believe, uh, $31.99, which is not bad. Again, Santa Ana, Ron Hacienda, 138 proof. All right. Hope you like that sort of thing. You're going to have to. But it really feels good going down. I mean, it feels like it's uh, disinfecting my entire <laughs> esophagus. Anyway, if you happen to see this on your shelf, this is really good. Um, but, you know, take it easy. <laughs> All right. Really, really drink responsibly when you're, when you're drinking this. Okay. All right. Bye.